I really do. But Pennsylvania is a pretty uh, neoliberal state and a, and a kind of a red state. What do you say a bunch of counties sue the fucking governor um, over, over limiting people in restaurants and, and the lockdown orders and, and like a judge claimed it was unconstitutional? We're in the middle of a fucking pandemic, people. You shouldn't be going to restaurants all the time. You don't need, like, and even if you are, you don't need to go out, right? Like, let's say you go out on a Saturday night. Great. There's other people that can't go out on Saturday nights because of the work or kids or whatever. But if it's like a, you know, a little restaurant in your neighborhood, and again, this would encourage you to like be more communal, right? Be, be, be able to talk to your neighbors and shit. But like, oh yeah, are you going to Joe's Crab Shack or whatever, you know? Uh, are, you, are, you go, are you going to Big Mama's Burger Joint? Oh, you know what? You guys are going there on Saturday? Oh, cool. You know what? We'll go there on Sunday. Then you order takeout from other places. Support your businesses that way, if you can, but a lot of people can't. So, you know, instead of actually, like, helping out these businesses, we do these lockdown measures and expect them to still stay afloat. Like, it's it's very nonsensical. So, part of me is, like, I don't want to blame these people because it's they're desperate for something because the American government hasn't provided the people, provided small businesses with any sort of help or anything. So part of me is like, oh, I get, I get why you had to do this, but this is so stupid. Like, why couldn't you, why couldn't you get out there and push for a, for, for like better small business loans, better help for small businesses, a UBI. You could have, you could have done so much more than this, this bullshit that's that's now gonna make this pandemic a lot worse this weird like red neoliberal state that we have here and I, and I really wish they would go for more progressive ideas like ranked choice voting hey what's up everybody thank you so much for tuning into this video if you enjoyed this content please make sure you like it please make sure you share it and please make sure you are subscribed to this channel whether you're watching this on the YouTubes whether you're watching this on Facebook or uh, or Rockfin, which is the cryptocurrency blockchain platform. It's ad-free and make sure that content creators get paid for the content that they want to make. It's completely uncensored. Whether you're on any of these channels, make sure that you are subscribed and following me for uh, all new video updates. There are uh, videos uh, put up on this channel on a weekly basis, anywhere from four to six videos every single week. Uh, they include uh, news commentary. They include sociopolitical com- comedy commentary, uh, rants, uh, current event stuff, interviews, stand-up comedy clips. There's a ton of stuff that's available on this channel. Uh, and if you want to come see one of my live virtual stand-up comedy shows called The Citizen Revolution Live Virtual Stand-Up Comedy Show, you can grab tickets directly off my website at krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Uh, while you're there, you can also become a sustaining member to get free tickets to these shows uh, uh, and a bunch of cool other uh, bonus stand-up comedy clips uh, while you're at it. And... Uh, you or you can make a one-time donation as well uh, if if that is something that that you would like to do if the sustaining membership is something that you can do I know we're in tough times right now uh, but if you can that'd be awesome if not that's cool too but the big thing to do is make sure that you are liking it you are sharing this and you are subscribed to the channel till next time thank you so much and we'll see you on the road <laughs>